we're going to talk about greater versus bigger and less than versus smaller. Now, you've heard people refer to numbers as greater than or less than. We just did in a previous video. But have you ever heard to people refer to numbers as smaller than or bigger than? Many people think that greater and bigger mean the same thing and that less than and smaller mean the same thing. Now, this is only true if you're dealing with all positive numbers. But now that you're growing up, we're dealing with negative numbers and we have to be very careful about our vocabulary. Otherwise, things will start to get a little confusing. However, let's try to keep things clear and learn the difference between greater and bigger and the difference between less or, or less than and smaller. Now, don't worry if you mess up every now and then. Even I still mess up after many years of teaching when I'm speaking because it is common to interchange those words, but they really do mean different things. So let's get going. Let's look at greater than and less than. If you remember, greater than refers to something being to the right of on the number line. So you might say five is greater than negative three. And that means that five is to the right of negative three on the number line. And less than refers to being to the left of on the number line. So you might say negative 10 is compared to negative 2. Negative 10 is less than negative 2 because negative 10 is left of negative 2 on the number line. So we've got greater than and we've got less than. And they have symbols, and they represent the position on the number line. So, you might be wondering, where's zero on the number line? You actually don't have to have zero. Zero happens to be there on that number line, and zero happens to be there on that number line. But you don't have to have them on your number line. But if it makes you understand it better, go ahead and put the number zero on your number line. So let's take a look and look at bigger and smaller. How can we refer to bigger and smaller as sizes of things? Well, I want you to think of a small pile of dirt. This is my impression of a pile of dirt. So I've got a small pile of dirt. And sitting next to that pile of dirt, I happen to have a big hole, big empty hole. And so I've got a small pile of dirt and a big empty hole. And we would say, in fact, that the dirt, the amount of dirt is smaller than the amount of space or air in the hole. The hole is bigger than the pile of dirt. So if I tried to put that dirt inside there, it wouldn't fill it up all the way. Let's see if I can grab that dirt and move it. And so that doesn't fill up the hole because the pile of dirt is smaller. Now, you might think if I were to attach some sort of numbers to these, that the pile of dirt could be a positive number and the hole being a negative number. And you may have noticed that the size of it didn't really matter if it was positive or negative. It just meant how big it is. And you can kind of think of absolute value when you're doing this because it's how far from zero. How big something is, is just how far from zero it is. So when we look at numbers, we can think of the number of how big something is. So three is definitely smaller than 10. Three is definitely smaller than 10. But is three smaller than negative 10? 
And it is, because 3 is 3 units away from 0, and negative 10 is 10 units away from 0, so it is a smaller number. Now, don't confuse that with less than. This is the whole point of this video. 3 is greater than negative 10, but it is smaller, because in absolute value, it is closer to 0. So, bigger is the size of it, how far from zero it is. Greater is to the right of on the number line. And smaller is the size of it. And less than means on the number line, it's to the left of. So remember that. And if you need to watch this video again to understand that, go ahead. You can watch this video a thousand times if you want. That'd be a really big number of times. But go ahead and watch it as many times as you need to remember that greater and less than represent the number line and bigger and smaller refer to the size of a number. And that's going to be very important when we're doing a little bit more arithmetic because we're going to look for the bigger number, which might be the negative number. In this case, the bigger number is negative 10. How about in this case, which is the bigger number? Negative a thousand or one million? Which one's the bigger number? Well, in this case, one million is the bigger number because it is further from zero. Let's do a couple more just to make sure you got it. Uh, how about negative 3 and let's say 1. Which one's bigger? Well, I think that negative 3 is bigger because it's further from 0. And let's do one last one. How about negative 7 and negative 10? Well, which one's bigger? I think you got it. Negative 10 is bigger. Negative 10 is bigger. So keep in mind, I'm going to say it again, just so we all get it. Greater and less than refer to the number line, the position on the number line. Bigger and smaller refer to the size of the number. Thank you very much.